I'm Yuhei Yogota. While I'm pretty passionate about reading, I'm just your everyday high school teenager out there, and uh, something's been bothering me lately. And that is... <laughs> Hello, Kasumi. She's Kasumi Hino. She's got this look that's on par with the best of idols. You'll easily spot her with her semi-long chestnut red hairstyle. My fair lady, as they say. Plus, she's just this really bubbly girl, and the guys are kinda into her. I knew her since middle school, and as such, we talk somewhat frequently. What? Do you need something from me? Uh, no, no. I just wanted to say hello. That's all. Huh. Recently, that bubbly girl everybody's fond of, she's somewhat indifferent towards me. Did I really do something mean to Kasumi? Like, she's pretty nice and cool to other people around her. Man, I guess that means I might have messed up pretty bad. Yeah, better I ask her straight up and just ask for forgiveness. I might have done something that rubbed her the wrong way. I'll ask her after the bell rings. Though I'll admit this, I'm kind of scared. Okay. Let's take a peek at what happened a week ago. So that day, we had the school festival on our campus. Kasumi, wanna tour the campus together? Sure thing! So, where to? Oh, oh, I wanna go there! Over there? Like a fortune-telling booth. See? A teacher from a different campus visits us for the booth every year. Sadly, I had a fever that very same day a year ago, so I wasn't able to check it out. Oh, that rings a bell. That kinda became a thing last year, so I knew all about it. For some reason, each divination was spot on and was really accurate. I wanted to go, but the queue stretched past down the corridor, and so I gave up on that. Okay, let's go! Now then, please write your name and birthday here. Okay! Kasumi Hino, right? Speak, child. To which should my scry glass peek into? Um, can I ask which are the popular ones? Right. Oh, love divinations are pretty popular nowadays, I guess. Well then, that one please. Ooh, the scry glass tells me your future husband, somehow, he's really into reading books. He's a fan of books? Yep, yep. Oh, the numbers. They are telling something. Let me see. 37. 37? There's a high possibility that one hints about a class number on your roll call, perchance. One who belongs to this campus, same year as yours. His name has six letters in it. 37 from our student list. <laughs> if she's talking about my class, then it's Yuhei. And that guy just loves reading books during recess too. Plus, it takes out the criteria as my classmate. Wait. Yuhei has six letters on it. Um, can I ask something? Is this divination really, like, 100% true? Yes, my child. My divination's just right on the mark. A bullseye each time. <laughs> Could this mean I... Really? With Yuhei? Um, nope. But uh, why Yuhei? I mean, I've known him since middle school, but not that I'm into him or anything. OMG, could this mean Yuhei kinda likes me or something? Uh, okay then, as long as I make him loathe me, the divination's gonna be off the mark, right? Right! Thank you! Oh, wait a sec. Find your actions as to not fall. Me fall over something? I'm not sure, but my scry glass says fall. Um, got it. Fall as in me falling in love for you, hey? I mean, that shouldn't happen as long as I'm careful. I wonder, what does that even mean? Oh, Kasumi. After the bell rang, I told Kasumi I needed her for something and told her to come meet me. Yeah? You need me for what? Um... Quit dawdling. I'm really busy, unlike you. See, I promised my friends I'd hang out with them, and so... Uh... Recently, you've been giving me a cold shoulder. I mean, you've been indifferent towards me. I wonder if I did something that might have rubbed you the wrong way. I'm really clueless right now. You can be blunt with me if you'd want to. I swear, I'll apologize whatever it's for. No... There's nothing to be sorry for, really. Then, if you'll excuse me... Wait! I said wait! What? I I'm in a hurry. Could you at least tell me what this is all about? Getting cold towards me all of a sudden, naturally, I'd be all curious! Because <sighs> of that divination. Huh? Divination? 
There's this teacher from another campus who does divination during our school festival. Ah, the one from the rumors and who gets them spot on. What about it? Uh, uh, like, she did this thing, a love divination, and told me I'd marry this guy who has these certain characteristics. And you just coincidentally checked all of the boxes so far. Uh, me? Uh, that's why I thought it was probably a good idea to make you loathe me. The only way that divination never comes true. I've been a jerk to you, so that you'd hate me and that thing never comes true. What the heck is that? I really thought I messed up real bad this time. Man, I was anxious all this time for nothing. Man, we're a mile off what you call a match. You really believe we'll marry? There's just no way! Uh, but fortune teller foresees them, like, really good, and... Nah, she certainly didn't get it right this time. Tell me, do you even like me? No, right? There's your answer. There's just no way in hell we'd marry- <laughs> I just wanted to lessen the possibility of that stuff happening. <sighs> Obviously, as if I'd marry you! Then that settles it. I hope this means you could at least treat me the way you did before. Fine. Just to be sure we're on the same boat. You're not really interested in me. Nada. Zero. Right? Yep, it's probably a bit rude of me saying this, but there's zero chance that divination comes true. Okay, I'll do you a favor and treat you just like back then. Thanks. Phew, glad this is over. I really thought back there I messed up big time. Still, I can't believe Kasumi's the one who straight up believes this divination crap. Well then, I'm going home. Yeah, sorry for holding you up. Okay, see ya. Uh, oh crap! Ouch, that hurts. <sighs> Yue? Are you alright? Yes, I am. My arm kinda hurts, though. Oh my gosh, there's no way you're okay after that fall. Oh, wait, I'm gonna call a teacher. Please, stay here for a sec. Minutes later, a teacher came just as Kasumi had promised. After explaining to her what happened, she kindly offered that she bring me to the hospital with her car. I already told them I was going to be fine, but Kasumi suggested we go to the hospital just to be sure. I mean, there was no blood gushing out, so there was no way I'd lose consciousness. For me, this was just something I could probably walk off. However... Y you are kidding me. <laughs> I somehow fractured them. It appears that I have broken my right arm and fractured my thumb. Oh well, I kinda cushioned Kasumi's fall, and that probably took a toll on my arm. Still, I'm just pretty glad nothing happened to Kasumi. I'm really sorry! No, I'm fine. Kasumi, you don't really need to lower your head. Look! It's all my fault. It's because I was careless that you hey here now. I'm gonna be okay. Besides, I'm just really glad nothing happened to you. I'm glad I was able to save you. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you so much for saving me. Nah, it was nothing. In return, I'd like to help on a lot of stuff till your arm's all healed. Eh? Um, you're right-handed, correct? Meaning you need that for eating, and it'll be pretty tough for you to eat with that broken arm. Like, uh, I'll feed you your meals. I'm good. I'm all good. I just feel bad letting you do something like that. Nope. It's all for your own good, Yuhei. As well as mine's. Right, so, Yuhei, I remember you usually eat bentos for lunch. Yeah, mom needs to go out early for work, so I make my meals myself. I mean, not right now, not with this, so I'll probably just grab some sandwiches. Eating sandwiches is a no-brainer even with my left hand, right? <sighs> okay, I could do that. Please, I'll even prep yours, Yuhei. Huh? I may look like this, but believe me, I'm pretty good at cooking. No, no, I'll do fine. You don't need to go that far. I won't take no for an answer. I swear, I'll cook up some really good ones. Okay, I give up. I'll take you up on that. Sure. Oh, just wait and see. You don't really need to go overboard, okay? You're silly. Still saying that after getting that bad fall just to save me? I don't want to hear any of that crap. Like, just let me be. But seriously, thanks. The following day, I was sitting comfortably by my desk, reading a book in one hand, when... Hello, Yuhei. Oh, Kasumi, good morning. So, how's it? Does your arm still hurt? It kind of hurts a bit once in a while, but I'm doing fine right now. Remember, we're switching classrooms for our first subject. I'll go ahead and bring your textbooks. No big deal. Those are just textbooks. I can hold them with my left hand. Um, no. Imagine falling down with both of your hands unusable. That's gonna be pretty dangerous, right? As if looking here while carrying those isn't dangerous, huh? <sighs> anyway, I'll go ahead and bring these, okay? Let's go! Yuhei! Look, I brought you bento as promised! Wow, seriously? You put an effort into making one? 
Huh, so you don't believe me? I'm not that kind of a jerk. Uh, it's not that I didn't believe you or anything. Okay, there we go. Dig in. Whoa, you weren't lying when you said you're good at cooking, Kasumi. <sighs> so you didn't believe me after all? Didn't I tell you I'm pretty good when it comes to cooking? Right, I might have not believed you when you said that. <sighs> you're such a meanie, Yuhei. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Yuhei, say, uh... No, 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 it's kind of embarrassing doing that here. Oh, don't be all embarrassed now. I mean, there's no helping it. You're injured, remember? I'm just gonna ask somebody else, uh, my friend, to feed me the... What? Wow, Yuhei. You had other friends besides me? W -w -w wait Kasumi! You're being pretty rude right now, you know? Like, I haven't seen you being together with someone, Yuhei. Honestly. Dude, that's beyond rude. Wow. Whatever, just hurry up. Uh... Uh... So, I bet it tasted really good. I'm confident this is even better than that shop right over there. Right, it certainly does taste good. Oh, I betcha. Here, have another bite. Here we go. Wait, my mouth already stop. Oh, don't be shy, gobble up. I've not the point here. You hey, I want to go home together. Huh? With me? Yep, here. I'll help you carry your bag. Uh, no, no, that's just asking too much from you. I can't allow a girl to carry my heavy backpack like that. <sighs> Enough chit-chat. This is my way of thanking you. Get it? Like my good attitude. W wait Okay, we're leaving. Ugh, I give up. Uh, by the way, Kasumi, you're really okay tagging along up to here? Huh? Uh, what do you mean by that? Aren't you gonna stray too far from your usual route with this roundabout trip? Oh, no worries. My house also goes in the same direction as yours. Really? That's my first time hearing that. Okay, make sure you remember this. My house is just around the corner, so I'll take it from here. Hey, could I visit your room for a bit? Huh? You mean right now? Yeah, so no? There's nothing really there at the moment, but I guess it should be fine. Yay! Well, I hope I'm not gonna bother anyone. I promise I'll behave. So here's my room. Oh, it's unexpectedly neat. Uh, you're saying a hell of a lot of rude things today, Kasumi. Not really. Look, I'm praising you. Didn't I say it looked pretty neat? If you just left out that unexpectedly part, I might have been honestly happy. That reminds me, Kasumi. Do you honestly need to be extra nice to me? Uh, why? If you continue being all nice and sweet to me, I might end up liking you. And if that happens, that divination would prove to be true. Just saying. Hmm, well, you're not wrong. Also, I've quit doing that. You what? Quit what? I've quit making things hard for me just so that divination fails. Huh? What do you mean? I quit sabotaging all these thingies just so that divination fails. So, it wouldn't result to her prophecy. Sabotaging that divination? You mean... Yep. Instead, I'm gonna do all my best just so that divination comes true. You mean... Instead, I want to do my best to win you over and not make you hate me this time. Huh? What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Why are you so surprised? Well, duh! Of course I'd be! And I still can't get over this! A sudden change of heart? Why? Do I really need to explain this? And it's not like I fell in love with you after you saved me or anything. Wait, don't tell me! Are you this easy? Easy? Uh, how dare you! So you are, huh? J jerk Hmm, I bet you don't have enough strength to stop me now. I can actually just shove you around. Oh, I can see that totally happening. Uh, hold on, Kasumi. Or maybe smooching's still out there as a fait accompli. Um, can you please just go back home? <laughs> I was just kidding. Wait, don't tell me. So honestly, you kinda liked that, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. I can read you like an open book. No! No, you can't! I- Shut up! Yes, you are. Oh, so adorable. Anyway, make sure you're ready by tomorrow. I meant now. I promise you'll fall in love with me in no time. I mean, I'm already starting to fall in love with her. Oh, good morning, you hey. Kasumi? Why are you here? I want to walk to school together. Here, I'll help bring your stuff. I told you already before. I'll be fine. Oh, shut up and give me that. Fine. So, I've wanted to do something like this for a long time. Like doing this, that, walking to school together, strolling beside someone after the bell rings with my crush. Really? Hmm? Wait, you're hearing the word crush. Did that actually make you blush? Uh, I'm not blushing or anything. 
Come on, there's no need to hide it. Oh, hearing those words from a cutie girl like me, I'm pretty sure everyone would be all shy and embarrassed. Yep, I betcha. Dude, you're so conceited. Still, yeah, right on the money. Hey, why's that loser with Kasumi? Yeah, it's my first time seeing her tagging along with a boy on the way to school. Man, I wish I was him. I knew it. Of course I garnered glares from everyone. Like we're talking about walking to school together with someone like Kasumi here. Okay, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Like you want to walk up and fess up to those people and tell them, Oh, I love Kasumi already? No way, man. That's, that's just too embarrassing. Eh, boring. But like, you're just telling the truth, right? No can do. Okay, say, uh... Uh... I bet that tasted delish too, right? I poured some real love into making today's meal, you see. No arguing that. It's delicious. Oh, by the way, are you seriously not gonna date me? Huh? No. In fact, I do wanna. Like, right? I agree with you. It's still too early to start dating, like, obviously. Huh? Come um, again? I wanna. Huh? Seriously? Yep, I just feel pretty chill and happy whenever you're around. Oh, 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 wait, um, so that means I should have just confessed dead straight yesterday? Yep. Y you're kidding me. Why didn't I just confess to you yesterday? You're such a dummy, you dumb dumb Kasumi! W wait quit that! Everybody's gonna stare at us! Shut up! Gosh, and why didn't you tell me that it was okay to do that yesterday? Uh, I mean, you didn't really tell me you wanted to go out with me or anything. Uh, I told you I like like you, then and there, so that surely counts as a confession. No, 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 giving that yes without really getting a straight confession from you first would just be awkward. Okay, so we're dating now, right? Um, yeah. If so, I want to walk to school together and take a stroll after the bell rings each and every day. Sure, if you're okay with that. That settles it then. I want to also prep your bentos even after your arm's completely healed every day. Got it? Nah, I can't possibly ask you that. Nope, it's what I want to do and I'm not budging any other way. Then count me in. We can prep each other's meals on every other day. That way it's easier. Eh? Eating your home-cooked meals, you hey? Yay! Whoa, she's really looking forward to my home-cooked meals, huh? I can't believe I'm gonna walk together with my boyfriend, which I yearned for after waiting all these years after school. It's like a dream come true. Man, yearned? That sounds kind of lame. Sh shut up! This one's a big deal for me. Huh? So, hey. What's the matter? Like, I still have this one wish. One wish? Is something achievable right now? Yep, right here, right now. So what is it? I, I want to hold hands while walking, so can't we? Yeah, sure thing. I stretched my hand out and gently held Kasumi's beautiful hand. Thanks! Um, can we hang out today at your house too? Today? Again? Uh, so... no? Oh well, guess you can. <laughs> I love you, Yuhei! Thank you for watching! How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well!